Hello guys and welcome back. Um, in this latest video, there is information that I've been wanting to share with you guys. Okay, this is, um, I believe, should be the first education that everybody that wants to be a trader must first receive. Okay, before they venture into trading. But this is not something that's going to be taught out there. Um, it's not something that the people who control the market. It's not something that they're going to push right in your face. It's not something they want you to see. But information exists anyways online. But this is not what one of those narratives that they're going to push. You understand? So the first thing that you need to understand, the very first thing that you need to understand when you come into the trading business is what we have right here. It's called COI. In other words, conflict of interest. Okay? This is conflict of interest. What does it mean? It means that every participant in the marketplace um, have interests that are clashes with each other. Okay? Now, you as a trader, you want to make money. Your broker wants to make money. All right? And there are other participants in the marketplace that you must know um, that they exist okay okay I'm talking about the liquidity provider I'm talking about the big players in the marketplace as well okay so these are guys that have the objective of making money you as a trader you want to make money the broker wants to make money the big players want to make money and the liquidity provider as well wants to make money do you understand so because of these some where uh, you know you need to ask the question where's the money gonna come from okay so this is why you will hear that Forex is a zero-sum game there are people who are pushing the narrative that um, when you buy all right your trade is been matched up with um, somebody else will sell we selling all right just like you now why that is true you are not being provided the total information the truth is that there are people who are you know are standing by to help provide that liquidity for you and these guys are who we call the liquidity provider so each time you buy they sell to you each time you sell they will buy from you okay now you want to think all right this provokes um, um, the thought that okay if these guys sell to me each time I buy it means that they're gonna be opening a trade every time I open a trade okay so they're gonna be opening a trade in the opposite direction of my trade and that means that one person has to lose money for the other to make money between you and the liquidity provider now obviously you have the broker you have the um the big players but i'm just going to focus on the liquidity provider because what the broker does whenever they take the other side of a trade because they also do that the broker um, as we know them okay to be um the people who um, allows us or who aids us to get into the market you know they helps us to get liquidity and stuff like that they are not that's not your job only sometimes or that's not what they do only okay they claim to do that yes they, they, they that's what one of those things they do but they can also take the other side of a trade in other words they can also provide liquidity to you from your own pocket if they see that you are um a newbie a new trader we still losing an unprofitable trader so when they check your reward your, your results when they check um, um your your results the results from your trading if they see that you're one of those traders that lose money 90 percent of the time or 80 percent of the time what do you think they take your other set of your trades so whenever you open a buy trade they help you they, they open a sell trade for you 
I mean, they, they open a set trade on their own. In other words, they provide you with the liquidity. Okay? Now, whenever you lose money, the results already show that you're going to lose money 80% of the time as an unprofitable trader. And so they are comfortable with that because if you are losing 80% of the time and they are the ones providing you with the liquidity, that means they're going to be winning 80% of the time. Do you understand? So this is why sometimes the brokers can take the other side of your trade. Okay? Now that's that's one area where you should look at, okay? So when we talk about the conflict of interest. Now there's another group which um, we call the liquidity providers. So they stand in or they stand by as the guys who will provide you the liquidity each time you um, need liquidity so whenever you want to buy you're going to need the sell side liquidity to be able to buy and whenever you want to sell you need the buy side liquidity for you to be able to sell so these guys jobs of uh, their job is to stand by as the liquidity provider so you, you if you if you wanna and i i really urge you to you should go to google and search liquidity provider in forex okay so for you to be sure and confident that these guys exist i need you to be to develop yourself okay to begin to trade with the awareness of these guys because this is what is real you need to focus on trading what is real do you understand your trade has to be based on what is real in the marketplace one of the reason or uh, i would classify this as the biggest reason why people lose money whether in in trading or in life in business is because of trust they come to you and they say um you can open up a trade you can trade as many times as you wanna if you want to make more money you trade often you believe that as well and you you run with that idea not knowing that the more you trade the more you open yourself to risk and in trading, managing risk is the first thing you need to understand. It is true that um, you have other people who demand for greater um, amount of liquidity more than us, small traders. But the fact remains that the liquidity provider will always use the liquidity from the small traders to fund or to, um, um, to provide the liquidity that the big traders will need. When you as a retail trader demands for liquidity, your trading volume is very low. And so they can take the others of your trade. They can provide you that liquidity. They can assume the risk. So whenever you want to buy, they sell to you. That's something they can do because the risk, okay, for them is very low. But when a big player comes into trade, when a big trader comes in to trade, Okay, somebody that um, is trading large with large equity, so the volume of the trade is really large. The liquidity provider cannot really take the other side of the trade because that may be too much of a risk for them to handle. Do you understand? And so, how would they solve that problem? How would they provide the, the, the liquidity that that big player needs? One way to do that, or the best way for them, is to manipulate the market, get small traders to buy. Okay, so get small traders to buy or to sell and then use that liquidity to, um, to fund the trade of the, of the big players. Okay, so obviously if the big players are selling, they would want the small traders to buy. And so, so they use the liquidity provided from the small traders or by the small traders to match, okay, the liquidity um, demand from, sorry, from the big traders. That's just it, guys. And this thing is what goes on over and over and over and over again. Listen, guys, if you trade without understanding what I'm saying, if you trade without using this information, you're going to become part of the, 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 the big group of traders who go about complaining that somebody is haunting their um, stop loss and they don't understand why. Okay? Haven't you taken trades like that? You, you see... Um, you put your stop loss and you were, you're just thinking, oh, this is a good support, this is a good resistance. You put your, your stop loss um, above the, the resistance. I mean, yeah, you put your stop loss above the resistance when you're selling and you say, oh my goodness, they're not going to get my, my, my stop loss. And what you see is that the market spikes into it 
into the area where stop loss is activate the stop loss you're out of the trade and then the move price down you originate the you know, you know the the direction you've predicted before that happens a lot in the marketplace and so right now i'm seeing lots of traders are not even trading with with, with um with stop losses uh, because they just believe that okay they are they are going for the stop loss now that, that's not the best way to trade it is not okay for you to trade without understanding what we're saying and it is not okay for you to now trade with a stop loss as well the best thing for you to do is to have this understanding become aware of these and you need when you when you make your analysis of entries in the marketplace when you make your analysis you have to take this into consideration because let me point out something you are not the guy who controls the market your orders cannot really move the market you cannot move price significantly all right it is the buy side orders or the sell side orders from the big players that is capable of moving price so if you are a small trader you are not trading with the understanding that there are big players in this marketplace and you need to take um you need to consider where they are going and follow them if you're not trading with that idea with that understanding then you're going to be losing a lot you're going to become part of the 80 or 90 or 99 percent whatever percent of losing traders in the marketplace so yeah you can see i have this this guy playing and this guy playing so you need both of them to make the game okay but when the game starts they become like enemies this guy wants to win and this guy wants to win now they both cannot win one has to lose for the other to win if the wise guy has to lose then this one will win if the white guy has to win then this one would lose if this guy have to win then this one will lose now that's a spot when it comes to trading like i said the big money the big volume is what move price when demand is far exceeding supply price will go up when supplies are exceeding demand price will come down that is economics 101 okay so the big volume is provided by the big players the big volume is provided by the guys who have large equities do you understand quite simple now the liquidity provider definitely they have large equity you most people don't see them as traders but i see them as traders because if they are taking the other side of a trade whenever you open up a trade then definitely they are traders so lots of the time they're going to assume the position of a trader okay why they remain as liquidity provider do you understand so I would say go online, go to Google, search liquidity provider, and I want you to convince yourself that they are existing. And if you read some of the broker's um, site, you will find um, them telling you where to get your liquidity from. They will point out their liquidity provider to you also. Okay. This is the first information you must receive. This is the first thing that you have to know. There is conflict of interest and outside there, you must be very very aware or very very careful about those you listen to okay so for instance now you've known that there's conflict of interest the broker wants to take your money the liquidity provider wants to take your money the big players want to take the other side of a trade okay now you are aware of that who are you going to listen to there are lots of people um that that are pushing the inversion narrative what i mean is they come to you and they tell you the opposite of what is happening in the marketplace real time so you will see the pro the brokers that will sponsor some of these big names telling you what to do telling you what not to do in other words they're telling you what to think they're telling you how to behave and how to act that's dangerous if you want to become profitable that's dangerous if you want to become profitable there are many things that happen in this marketplace and in the coming days i'll be pointing out things out um i'll be showing some few things on your chart all right in line with what i'm saying right now for you to understand now this is exactly the concept or this is where my strategy um is based is drawn from 
Okay, this is what it is drawn from mainly. Okay. Um, the new strategy um, is delivered in 16 videos. I have 16 videos that talks about, you know, that aims to teach people and develop them along this concept and how to use it for your trading. And it's awesome, guys. It is really, really awesome. It's something that you just cannot imagine how powerful it is. The moment I got this, this this is when I started, when I learned about this, this is when I started experiencing sniper trades. I mean, real sniper trade. You becoming sure of what you're doing in the marketplace. Even though you, you may not get it 100% of the time because you are a human being and you can miss out on your analysis. That's okay. But the beautiful thing is that your risk is reduced significantly the moment you understand what I'm showing you here. What I'm talking about, conflict of interest and the fact that the big players are the guys who move the market. Once you understand this and you can incorporate this in your trading, you will be getting the small risk trade, high probability and high reward. Um, this is just a picture of the you have the retail trader and you have the broker, the liquidity provider and the big players. Now the big trade, these guys here, you are this guy here you are the retail trader the small player and these guys are the big players i mean these guys are the ones that can affect you the, they have way different ways that it can affect you the broker can affect you by widening the spread okay and the broker can also take the other side of a trade why the liquidity provider can take the other side of a trade and manipulate the market to take your um to take the liquidity that you provide and use that to offer the big these big traders right here okay now all of these guys can affect you and so you need to understand how they behave now I just give you something right there you need to understand how they act in the marketplace you need to understand that you see guys the best strategy that I've ever seen in my life was drawn from this from what i just gave you right now finding out what these guys do that is trading what is real that means trading what is real you're not trading because you're not trading from um with an idea with a perspective that was given to you by a big name quote unquote that comes on television and begins to say a and b and c and d you are now trading with the understanding that you've dug out all right from your own search about what is real in the marketplace what sets up the marketplace what makes the market so let's say you're buying and they're selling to you when you're losing money on your buy trade they're gonna be making money from the sell because whenever you open up a trade they open um, the opposite direction of the trade so let's say you buy at a level you expect price to go up, right? But price doesn't go up. It begins to drop. So remember, whenever you buy at that level, they are selling also at that same level. They sell, they are selling equal amount of whatever you're buying because they are the ones selling to you, providing you with the liquidity. Now, what happens is that you're expecting price to go up. Do you understand? Okay. You are expecting price to go up. Let's say, for instance, this is the level. All right. You bought here. You, 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 you bought here and they sold here. I'm sorry. Yeah. So they sold here. You are buying here and they're selling. So you're expecting price to go up, but then price doesn't go up. Price drops. They are selling. They sold to you at this price. And you bought from them at this price price begins to drop and you are forced to sell at a lower price in other words you bought high and now you are selling at a lower price which means you are going to be recording loss but they sold to you at a higher price and now they are buying from you back at a lower price that means they are gaining from that trade okay now vice versa if you are buying here and uh, they are making money i mean you are making money you, you the, the trade price begins to go up it means you have an opportunity to sell at a higher price, right? 
and so price begins to go up you sell at a higher price you record profit you know they sold to you here price begins to go up you are in gain but now they are losing you sell if you are selling up here they're gonna be buying from you there so they bought low I mean they sold low now they are buying high that is loss for them you understand so whenever you are making money as a retail trader the liquidity provider or anybody who stands in to become your liquidity provider at that point anybody will provide a liquidity for you whether it be the broker whether it be the guys who are the real liquidity providers okay so whoever stands in at the liquidity provider is going to be losing money this is where the conflict of interest came up from do you understand so if you're dreaming to ever become a consistently profitable trader this is something you need to understand all right until next time guys cheers and god bless you